Hey, welcome to another edition of JP to IT. I had two videos I wanted to throw out there real quick that's been on me. The first one, which is going to be this one, is the things people don't tell you about building a PC. Uh, the first thing is building a PC looks easy on YouTube, looks easy when you see someone do it, but it's not as easy as it looks. It doesn't take long, but it's not as easy. The second thing is the price when it comes to building a PC. So let's get that straight first. And also, you're gonna see some gameplay where I talk about this as I did in my last video. You might see a lot of people have PC say, okay, we're gonna build a cheap budget PC for 350. We're gonna build a cheap budget PC for 400 or 500. Yeah, you can put that kind of money to build a PC, but you have to remember, if you're coming from console gaming and you're coming over to PC, there's a lot of stuff that comes along with building a PC and a PC period. The major thing is the software. You can put in another 100 to 200 dollars in just software and then when you build a pc for the price that they say or the price that you see that doesn't count your keyboard and mouse or your monitor and if you need speakers that doesn't include that if you're going to gain with headphones that's not going to include your headset so it's a lot of different variables that comes into it that uh is just not really talked about so when it comes to me selling computers people have an attitude with me saying okay well i'll sell a computer to you for 500 or it's going to be 600 if you want uh a monitor with it and in their mind, they think when they get a computer, that's going to be the computer with the keyboard and the mouse and the monitor. So in their mind, the computer is the full setup. But actuality, computer is just a box that has all the parts in it, and it doesn't include the keyboard and mouse. When you go to buy it out of a store, a pre-built, as we call it, pre-built computer, it has the keyboard and mouse with it because they know a consumer or a customer that goes and buys a pre-built computer they know already that they're going to be expecting the keyboard and mouse the caveat you're going to have a nicer computer yeah you're going to have a faster computer than the person that's playing the game especially if you're building it for uh gaming but the thing is there is a lot of people that assume that once they build a computer get the games finally installed that's it it's not that easy Say for instance you go out and buy a PlayStation 4 or buy an Xbox One. You go to the store and buy it, purchase it, get to the house. If you bought some games with it, yeah, that's good. Or if not, if you had another thing where you took it, when you got it, you said to yourself, I'm just going to download the games because I'm going to purchase them in the Xbox store or PlayStation store. All right, you do that, you get there, you have to download the game, then install it. If you have the game already, you're still going to have to download it to the hard drive, install it to the hard drive, and then it's going to download some extra files. But in that whole time frame you can say from the time you buy the game from the time you bought this console to the time you got home you can put a good hour to an hour and a half you're up and playing the game you're good to go it's not the same case with a pc if you're a hybrid like i am and i'm and i'm going to use that word in my next video and give a good uh so you have a better understanding and what i mean by hybrid is i play pc games all the time been playing them since say 97 98 built my first computer in 98 but the thing is, my last console was an Xbox 360. But ever since then, even when I got back into building PCs and gaming PCs and playing games on PC, I still prefer to have an actual controller. So I'm still using either an Xbox One controller or a GameSir G4S controller or some kind of controller in my hand. I'm not the keyboard and mouse type of person, even with first person shooters. And I know that's, that sounds weird or people gonna be like, well, then you're not a true PC game, but that's fine with me. That's just how I am. That's why I call myself a hybrid. Even when I game, my game is hooked to a 4K TV and I'm sitting back on a recliner playing a game. So I'm not sitting at a computer desk, sitting in front of a, you know, 144 Hertz monitor playing a game. I'm playing a game at 4K with a 4K TV and I'm playing it with a controller from a distance. My headphones, they're Bluetooth, using a Bluetooth headset and uh, even the keyboard and mouse is just a mini keyboard and mouse. Sometimes I, I use the, uh, I think it's called a K400, the Logitech one. I use that or look, the little mini ones. I use that to game. So my experience with PC gaming is I game just like it's a console. Uh, the competitive side of it, I can do it, but I really don't get into it like that. But there's just a lot of drawbacks and caveats to it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, this is JP.IT. I'm out.